This is our third and final podcast for Chapter 9. And in this episode, we're going to deal with anaerobic respiration. Now, as you recall from an earlier podcast, anaerobic means that there is no oxygen available. So when you try to break down glucose, which is C6H12O6, without the presence of oxygen, you are only going to make 2 ATP. Okay, with oxygen, you're going to be able to make 36 ATP. So as you can see there, there's a big difference. You are not getting as much bang for your buck from anaerobic respiration. However, the fact that you are still making ATP, that can be enough to keep the cell alive. <clears throat> now, for some cells, that's just temporary. It's temporary. Cells will do this anaerobic respiration until they come across oxygen again. They cannot survive in this process even forever. And your muscle cells would fit that. Now, there are two steps to um, anaerobic respiration. The first one is called glycolysis. And remember, this one occurs in the cytoplasm. And this one will occur exactly the same way that it occurred during aerobic respiration. There's the two ATP that you make. And you also make NADH. Now, these NADHs cannot go to the electron transport chain because there's no ETC when there's no oxygen. So the NADH goes to this process called fermentation. Fermentation is going to take the place of the, of the ETC in regards to turning the NADH back into NAD+. All right. So let's look at the details of this a little bit more. All right. First of all, let's revisit glycolysis. Remember, this occurs in the cytoplasm, and glycolysis is going to make three things. Two molecules of ATP, two molecules of NADH. Now, if you cannot remember from an earlier one, uh, NADH is a high-energy electron carrier. And normally, if there was oxygen available, it would send this to the electron transport chain, but none of that is here. And then you would have two pyruvic acid molecules. Now, these two pyruvic acid molecules would normally go to the Krebs cycle, but without oxygen, they're going to go to the fermentation step. Okay, so let's put a two here so you guys don't forget that. All right, so you'll recognize this picture, no difference. But because there is no oxygen available, these guys are going to go to the fermentation step. All right, now, fermentation comes in two flavors. The first flavor is alcoholic fermentation. Whoops, went too far. Okay, alcoholic fermentation makes alcohol in CO2. The CO2 is the reason why the beer will fizz and the champagne will fizz. The other type of fermentation is called lactic acid fermentation. And lactic acid, you guessed it, will produce lactic acid. Now, lactic acid is found in your muscle cells. And what these guys do is they give you that burn in your muscles. So when you exercise very, very vigorously, it's the lactic acid that causes that to happen. All right. All right, now remember, the number one job of fermentation is you have to regenerate this NADH, or I'm sorry, NAD+, because this NAD+, will go back to the glycolysis. Now, if you are not regenerating this NAD+, Glycolysis will not occur. All right. There we go. All right. So glycolysis. That's just spelled crazy. You'll just have to figure it out on your own here. All right. So these two pictures are showing you in detail what's going on with these two types of uh, fermentation. All right. First, let's, let's visit this lactic acid fermentation over here. All right. All right. In this one, the alcohol, first you have your glucose. Glucose is going to form pyruvate. Right. Glucose is going to form pyruvate, which then will be uh, turned into acetaldehyde after the CO2 has been produced. All right. Now, once the CO2 has been produced, it goes away. That's why the beer will, will fizz, and that's why the champagne will fizz. And the aldehyde, as you are turning NADH back into NAD+, will be turned into ethanol, which is a, a type of alcohol. Now, over here at lactic acid, essentially the same thing happens. Glucose gets turned into pyruvate. The pyruvate, when it's turning NADH into NAD+, will be turned into lactate. 
And so as you see that the fermentation step, which is down here and over here, you'll see it down here again. They are the intermedi intermediary from turning NADH into NAD+. Plus. All right. Well, that will conclude our Chapter 9 podcast. If you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to see your teacher.